B Trooper with the ability to search Max C. That is why the deck is potentially top tier now, which you can't do that in TCG, and it's not out in OCG, Master Duel exclusive. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Oh, we got B Trooper in the top 16. Let's go. We got the Resonance Insect, which will search for a level five or higher insect. This is it. We got the Armor Horn. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what this deck does. We're gonna be grabbing the Doom Dozer, banish two from the graveyard to come forth and summon 2800. The Resonance Insect is gonna send a Goki Pole. Goki Pole is gonna be searching for the Retaliating C. Retaliating C will search for a Max C. Special summon onto the field. I should say additionally summon. Send it to the graveyard now. Search for Max C. You all heard about it. You're seeing it right now. This is the Max C search. There you go. How do you do it? Now you know. We got the Insector to return three insects back in the deck to draw one card. We're going to Rite of Ares Mirror. Come forth and summon our token plus the Faithful Adventure. We're going to link this off into Verte Anaconda plus have a Griffin Rider. Grab the Draco back, search for Griffin, discard the Draco back, equip, so we'll have Omni Negate and DPE Mate, plus our search for Max C. Do they play three Max C if they could search it? Maybe you only play one if you could search it, right? Or do you want to just increase the chances of opening up your Max C? How do we deal with non targeting destruction, Omni Negates, and Max C, plus a hidden Veiler and a hidden Called by the Grave? With Virtual World, when they target the card in the field to summon themselves, if you DPE pop that card, it will stop the summon. We max C and you know it, he's got nothing to stop it. No called, no cross out. We be trooping. We be trooping. Drawing in a foolish, no hand trap. We got the Wandering Griffin Rider. We're going to discard the Rite of Air's Mirror. Where's the Draco back, mate? We're going to DPE pop the token before the griffin comes out now the griffin will not be able to negate our griffin can negate you though grabbing draco back draco back's gonna be no good draco back has nothing to equip onto to return cards of the field back to the hand we're going to be targeting the monster on the field to come forth and summon the lili this is all under max c banishing the Quing Long from the graveyard to be searching for lulu lulu is going to be the best activation from the deck lulu and lalo are the top two we're going to save our negate for the Lulu because of how good it is. Wipe it out. This prevents him from grabbing a Chuchi continuous trap, which would be popping cards in the field. We don't want to have that. Now we can lay low, call by the grave, onto the Lulu. Okay, he doesn't want him to summon Lulu from the graveyard, but we could chain the trap to summon Lulu to dodge the called by the grave. I can't believe Virtual World's actually playing around this. What? Wait a second. B Trooper Sting Lancer. Targeting a monster in the opponent's graveyard to put on the bottom of the deck. He is targeting the Lulu. So the second attempt to summon Lulu from the graveyard, thwarted. Wow. Maybe you should have done that first, then chain call by the grave, right? Lulu to the bottom of the deck. Nothing to summon with the trap. <laughs> it still goes, the animation still happens. Come forth, Lalo, but with nothing in the graveyard to summon. Sting Lancer grabbing a B Trooper Descent. B Trooper Descent will help you pop a back row and summon a token. We have the Croco Dragon draw a card. We're going to Veiler, negate, no draw card for you, mate. Now what? Choo Chi, change the level of a monster on the field. We're gonna change you into level nine. Nine plus nine, going to make a rank nine. True King of All Calamities. True King All Calamities could wipe out the DPE getting a beer rude. What the? Wipe the field just like that. Dark monsters are now legal and cannot be activated, but it does not matter. Everything got Nabirud. Holy moly. Giant token, 11,000 attack. B Trooper, show me the plays. We dashing the Nabiru onto the field. This was all thanks to searching that Maxi. Searching that Maxi won the duel. 
We got double the Nibiru. Fateful adventure, grabbing the Wandering Griffin Rider that can't be summoned unless we have no monsters or a token. But by discarding the Water Enchantress, we'll banish to grab the Rite of Error's Mirror, summon a token, summon the Griffin. 3k, 3k, 2k, 2k. But still no out to the token on the field. What is our out? Do we have Draco back still in the deck? We do not. So right now, we don't know what he's doing with that token. He's gonna make a Link Spider, probably into an Anaconda. Normal summoning the Resonance. We're gonna send three to the graveyard. What? Send three? Papillion! Papillion is here. If this card's Link Summon, place a counter on it. You could remove a counter to summon an Insect from the graveyard. Resonance Insect in the graveyard. Search for a level five or higher Insect. Doomdozer. Still not sure how we're dealing with that token unless we're making an access code talker. How through all these insect activations, you're not locked into insect only monsters. What's going on here? Did Konami forget to put restrictions? Axis Code Talker, Banish from the Graveyard, wiping out the 11,000 attack token. Banish two from the Doom Dozer, and just like that, B Trooper with the ability to search Max C. That is why the deck is potentially top tier now, which you can't do that in TCG, and it's not out in OCG, Master Duel exclusive. Let's go. Oh boy, we got the Maxi Searcher, but your opponent has to activate a spell card that includes the effect of Special Summon a Monster, which would be the Rite of Eris Mirror. Okay, thank you very much, we'll do that, but you could Draco back, spin it back to the hand. Retaliating. The re only when the Retaliating is sent to the graveyard will we be able to search for the Maxi. Now, what the heck does Battle Wasp? If you control an insect, you can Special Summon this card from the hand, so I think it's just gonna be an extender to make some Link Summon plays. We got the B Trooper Sting Lancer not activatable right now. We have to have an insect in the graveyard in order to target a monster in the opponent's graveyard to spin it. This is very good against DPE. So B Trooper countering DPE, Draco back spinning back the Retaliating C. We are dealing with an Omni Negate. Uh-oh, we got Fusion Destiny. Normal summon the Retaliating C, special summon the Battle Wasp. You can only use each effect once per turn, so by negating this, the other one will not be activatable. But there goes your one card disruption. But now that we have an insect in the graveyard, we could spin a monster. Wait, we can't use this then, right? You have to target an insect in your graveyard and one monster in your opponent's graveyard, so we're not able to summon the Sting Lancer, but we got Fusion Destiny. How fair. Well, now we could use the Sting Lancer since you negated the Fusion Destiny. If plan A doesn't work, plan B, Sting Lancer. Are we going to be Link Summoning? What's the play? Return both monsters back into the decks at the bottom. The Sting Lancer is going to be activating, grabbing the Descent. Descent will summon a token for Link Climbing. We Link in. Link two into Armor Horn. Armor Horn allow an additional summon, so we can normal summon the Battle Wasp. We're also going to be drawing into the Resonance Insect, not searching for a Max C, searching for Resonance Insect instead. Maybe we have lethal damage. Additional summoning. Pico Felina is going to return three insects in the graveyard to then be able to draw one. We targeted the horn to do what? Discard a card, target one other insect, equip one insect from your deck as an equip card to gain its effect. The effect is gain 500 attack. Okay, what are we doing? We're triggering the Resonance Insect to get searching for a Sting Lancer, which is not summonable right now. Equipping the Retaliating C. Return three in the graveyard back in the deck to draw one. This will... Is Retaliating C not hard once per turn? Are you telling me we're going to search Max C and search for Resonance Insect? Papillion activate Retaliating C. They forgot to make it hard once per turn. Oh my Jesus, they broke it. The card is broken. It searched for a Resonance, searched for a Max C. Now we got Papillion. Papillion can summon a monster from the graveyard. We're going to be banishing the Resonance Insect, sending a Goki Pole from the deck to the graveyard. Goki Pole activating to add a Killer Needle. Summoning the Killer Needle and popping the token. What the heck is going on? Link Spooter. Come forth, Linking off. Into Axis, Code, Talker, Lethal, Damage. Plus I got Maxi in case I don't win. Holy moly, B Trooper is absolutely nuts. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Remove a counter from this card, special summon a level four lower insect from your graveyard and defense. Why do we, uh, I feel like this effect's never being used. Did he not have a level four lower insect in the graveyard to special summon? You can use one of the effects. And all, okay, so there you go. That's, I, I, every time this is summoned, I'm wondering why they're not summoning. It's because when they can't summon from the graveyard, the turn they gain counters, and now it makes sense. All right, very good to know. If sent to the graveyard, add a level four insect. Then if you added a normal monster, you special summon it, then destroy one monster on the field. 
What the hell is that? What? Okay, that's a 2-0. 2-0.